Hi guys! It's time for our second video of our whole new series book. Ready for ready to travel by every climb. So, when we were on the last video and the end of chapter 1 to 3, I had read you that Freddy wants, really wants to lose a tooth to get his name on the big tooth. And he tries to yank it out by tying a string to his mouth and a door, but he doesn't work up. So I may think that he is trying to figure out a new way to lose a tooth in this video. What do you think? What do you think the problem of the story of this video is going to be? Oh, what do you think? Let's get on the second video. Okay. Chapter 4, Plan B. The next day at school was even worse. Everywhere I went, all that kids talked about was teeth, teeth, teeth. During math time, Jesse asked Roddy, did the tooth fairy come to your house last night? Yeah, said Roddy, his eyes lighting up. What did she leave you? I put my tooth under my pillow when I went to sleep and in the morning, the tooth was gone and the tooth fairy left me a dollar bill. One dollar? Is that it? said Chloe, wrinkling up her nose. The tooth fairy gives me five dollars. Five dollars? said Jessie. You're rich. I know, said Chloe, playing with her shiny gold necklace and flashing her million dollar smile. Since I already lost four teeth, I have twenty dollars whole I have twenty whole dollars. My abuela, you know my grandma? Oh she's really good at sewing. So she made me a little tooth pillow, said Jesse. It looks like a smile and there's a little pocket where the missing tooth goes. The tooth fairy leaves a shiny silver dollar in the little pocket. I'm saving it up for a new skateboard like one you got for your birthday, Freddy. How about you, Freddy? Says Chloe. What does the tooth fairy bring you? Before I could answer, Miss butted in and said, A big fat nothing. The tooth fairy had never been to Freddy's house, remember? Freddy's just a baby. He hasn't lost a tooth yet. Well, she will be coming really soon, I said, because I have a really loose tooth. Oh, yeah? Said Matt, which one? Show me, shark boy. I just have to show you. Liar! Said Matt, you don't have any loose tooth. Do two, do not. Do two, do not. Boys, what is the problem here? My Mrs. Wushi interrupted. What is all this yelling about? Nothing, I, I mumbled, looking down. Oh, nothing. Mrs. Hoshi, we were just talking, said Max. But I need to see a lot less talking and a lot more working, said Mrs. Hoshi said. You both need to finish that page of math problems before recess. As soon as Ms. Mrs. Hoshi walked away, I smiled and whispered, We'll finish this conversation at recess, wimp. Oh, great. Just great. I was going to get beat up by the meanest kid in the class. No, correction. The biggest bully in the whole first grade. My stomach started doing flips. I thought I was sure I was going to throw up. Uh, Mrs. Hushi, may I go to the bathroom? Are you feeling okay, Freddy? You look a little pale. I'm, uh, fine. I just need to go. Well, go ahead then. I ran to the bathroom, went into one of the stalls, and locked the door. I sat on the toilet to think. Why did I talk back to Max Sellers, the biggest bully in the whole first grade? He was going to squish me like a bug. I hit my forehead with the palm of my hand. Sink! 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 I was going to get beat up by the big bully. He's going to smash me. He's going to crush me. He's going to rip me into pieces like a great white shark snacking on a tuna fish. He's going to turn my face into oatmeal. I hit my head harder. Sink! 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 Wait 
a minute. I am going. I am going to get a better big bully. This is my lucky day. He's gonna smash me. He's gonna crush me. He's going to rim, rim me into pieces. He's gonna turn my face into oatmeal. He's gonna knock my tooth right out. And I'm finally gonna get my name on the big tooth. Chapter five. Get ready. Get set. I walked back to class and sat down on my chair to finish the math worksheet. I could feel Max's eyes staring at me, so I turned around and winked at him. After what seemed like forever, Mrs. Wooshie rang her bell and said, Okay, boys and girls, it's time for a recess. Please hand me your paper, and then you may go out. I jumped up, handed Mrs. Wooshie my paper, and bolted to, a, to the door. Robbie grabbed my arm and yanked me before I could reach the door. Hey, where are you going? He asked. Let go of me, I said, trying to shake my arm loose. I'm going to fight Max. Are you crazy? Robbie knocked on my head. Hello, anybody in there? The biggest bully in the whole first grade is about to kick your butt. And, are, and you're going out there? Yeah. What? Yeah, and he's going to punch me right in the mouth and knock my tooth out. And I'll get to sign the big tooth just like you. That is so stupid. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I think I better go tell Mrs. Wushi. Oh, no, you don't. I said making a fist or I'll knock your teeth out. Robbie shook his head. Stupid, stupid, stupid. No, this is my lucky day. Now, are you coming or not? I ran out the door with Robbie in my heels. Wait, wait, he yelled. What now? Good luck. Thanks. You're gonna need it. Just then Max came running across the yard. Well, looky here. The big chicken finally came out of hiding. I wasn't hiding. I was just getting ready. Bok, bok, bok. Max clucked as he started around the yard, flapping his arm like a chicken. I'm not a chicken, I yelled. Jesse poked Robbie. What's Freddy doing? He's gonna fight now. Really? said Jesse. How brave. Did you hear that? I turned to Robbie. She seems saying brave. Not brave, just really dumb. Robbie muttered under his breath. Hey everybody, come here, yelled Jesse. Freddy's gonna fight Max. The whole class gathered around us. In a big circle, pushing and shoving to get a good view the, of what was about to happen. I squeezed my lucky shirt tooth, hoping for extra power. Hey, Fred is gonna fight Max! Fred is gonna fight Max! They all whispered. Max rolled off his sleeves and started cr cracking his knuckles in preparation. All the kids started to get Freddy! 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 Come on, T Moron! You can do this! yelled Jesse. And she hopped back and forth and punching the air like a boxer. Hey, watch my hair, Jesse! said Chloe, fluffing our bounty red boing boings. My mom spent an hour curling it this morning. Well, excuse me, you little fancy pants. It's just here. Well, you're just jealous said Chloe as she walked away with her nose in the air. Whatever. This is crazy, Robbie Manda. I know, isn't it great? She said to Robbie. Then she turned and screamed, Let's go, Freddy! Show him what you got! I gulped hard. Just think of the tooth. Just think of the tooth. I whispered to myself. Chapter 6. The Fight. The chance of Freddy, Freddy, Freddy were ringing in my ears. It's now or never, I thought. Hey, dog breath, I yelled, pointing at Mac. What to call me, baby teeth? You heard me, dog breath, I said, putting my fist and jumping around. Come on, come on. Max made the fist, raised his arm high above his head, and started to swing. I squeezed my eyes shut, took, took a deep breath, and stuck out my jaw. I could already see myself signing the big two. And then, woof! Right in the stomach. Okay, so, 
this chapter book, there is 11 chapters that I read to you back here. And now we have four chapters left. So I'm going to read one more chapter and three uh, later, okay? Chapter 7. Hard, crunchy things. Max was sent to the principal's office. I was sent to the nurse. And worst of all, I still have all my teeth. Bummer. I guess that wasn't a, such a good idea, a plan after all. After school, I was going to play at Robbie's house, so we rode the bus together. I still can't believe that you got in a fight with Max Sellers. That was really stupid. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Well, I really wanted to lose a tooth. Too bad you're not a shark in real life, Freddy. You know, sharks lose their teeth all the time. Thanks for the less incest. In stain, but I already know all about shark teeth. As soon as they lose one, another tooth grows in. Some sharks go through 60,000 teeth in their lifetime. Isn't that amazing? Well, there are other ways to lose a tooth, the Robbie. I can't think of any other ways. Well, I ate a lot of hard, crunchy things like apples and carrots. Then one day, my tooth got Wiggly and I wiggled it and wiggled it every day. Did it work? I lost my tooth, didn't I? Robbie said, pointing to the hole in his mouth. We had reached Robbie's house, so we ran on inside, dropped our backpacks, and went straight to the kitchen to get a snack. Mom, you're home! Robbie called. Mrs. Jackson came to the kitchen. Hello, boys, what's up? We both lost each other each other with that if you don't tell i won't tell kind of stare that best friends have and answer together nothing did anything excited happen today nah the same old stuff well you must be starving what do you want for a snack do you have any carrots mrs jackson carrots freddy are you on a diet she said chuckling no i'm all out that's on my grocery list for this week what can I ask get you? How about an apple? Nope. I put the last one in Kimberly's lunch today. I know, said Mrs. Justin. How about some berry blast jello? Jello? Rats! I wouldn't lose any teeth eating jello. That's what they give out to babies and old people who don't have any teeth. No thanks, I, I said. I'm not that angry. Suit yourself, said Robbie. I'll have some jello, Mom. I watched Robbie eat his purple jello and stared at the hole in his mouth as he took each bite. It's just not fair, I thought. I'm three months older than he is. When Robbie finished, we went to his room to play. What should we play? Wanna do some experiment with my new chemistry set? Nah, I'm not in the mood. Wanna go out and catch roll for a week and look them under my microscope? Nah, I know. Let's play with Rosie and Violet. I shook my head. Rosie and Violet or Rosie's pets. A little bowl python and a leopard gecko. Well, what do you want to play? Robbie said, exasperated. I don't know. I shrugged. You're no fun today. You know what? I just want to go home. I'm tired. Whatever, party pooper. See ya. I'll call you later. I may not be around because we are, just, we are going to have a special dinner just about loving me losing my first tooth. Tooth, tooth, tooth. If I heard that one word one more time, I was going to scream. And that is the end of our video. Uh, our second video of our new book, Ready, Freddy, Tooth Trouble, by Abby Klein and illustrated by John McKelly. So, uh, you know that this is book number one and there is a whole lot. I, I, uh, I don't have that many books, but I do have some more, like, I have a lot more. These are already Freddy books. And I think 
that if he finished this book quickly, I'll be reading book number two, which is called Larry. Book number two is called The King of Show and Tell. The King of Show and Tell. Show and Tell, uh, I have read all of the... I have read all the books and it, and the show and tell is when they bring and sing and show it to another person and and tell about it. But Freddy doesn't have any cool things and that is the problem. And I'll see you um, later. I'll be reading the last three chapters. No, four chapters to do it. And how, I hope you have a great day. I uh, hope you see ya, uh, see ya at dinner time. And and I hope you enjoy reading this book, To Trouble, by Abby Klein. And Big Stone, because if you like... Like this book, you know all these things. Subscribe me, okay? And let's, okay. And let's say goodbye. Bye. Bye.